एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी चैप्टर नंबर थ्री ट्राइंगल प्रैक्टिस सेट नंबर थ्री पॉइंट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन वी आर गोइंग टू कम्प्लीट इन टूडेज वीडियो द अदर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस एक्सरसाइज इज ऑलरेडी बीन कम्प्लीटेड द लिंक विल बी प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन चेक इट ओवर देर सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इन फिगर लाइन ए बी दैट इज दिस लाइन इज पैरल टू डी ई सो दीज टू लाइन आर पैरल ओके find the measure of angle d r e so d r and e this angle you all have to consider and angle a r e that is a r e okay so this and this angle you all have to find got it children so using the given measures of some angles so these angles are been given to you all using these information you all have to find the this angle and this angle all right so first we will write whatever has been given that is line ab parallel to line de all right this is given and line ad is transversal all right so from this information we will get angle bad is congruent to angle eda from alternate angles okay so from this given information we got this information okay so this is going to be bad okay and eda so this is forming an alternate angle okay so this is 70 so that therefore this is also going to be 70 that means angle b a d is equal to 70 degree therefore as i said angle e d a is also going to be 70 degree why because these are alternate angles this is also 70 now this also we got from the given condition okay so both are 70 70 degree that is angle e d r is equal to 70 degree got it so e d and r is 70 degree now you will see we have got two angles children okay so from these two angles when we add this and then subtract it with 180 we are going to get the third angle isn't it so let's do it therefore angle a r e is an exterior angle this you all have to mention because we have to use an exterior angle property over here of triangle r d e as i am writing it you all have to refer the diagram so that it will be more clear now exterior angle property from that we have got angle a r e is equal to angle e d r plus angle der isn't it we have to add these two angles in order to get this angle so from where did we get this we got this from the theorem of remote interior angle got it so reasoning is very important children because whenever whenever we write any statement for that from where did we get it this is what uh, will state us that from this reason we have got the statement got it so a r e will remain as it is we are having this measurement that is 70 degree okay this measurement we are having as 40 degree so therefore angle a r e is going to be how much 110 degree this you all can do it orally also but as we say for marks we have to write everything okay because every point going is going to consider half of mark so we have got a r e is equal to 110 degrees okay now using this information angle a r e plus angle d r e is supposed to be 180 degree okay so as i am explaining as i have written these two angles refer the diagram this from where did we get it angles in a linear pair because they are forming a linear pair now i'll show you in the diagram children after writing it what we have written is a 
R E that is this angle. Okay, and D R E that is this angle. You will see this is forming a linear pair. Okay, so. Now, if we add this angle and this angle, it should be subtracted with 180 so that we will get our required numbers. Okay, so D R E and A R E is to be added. From there, we have A R E that is supposed to be 110 degree, isn't it? D R E, we are now going to get it. So we have to subtract it. Therefore, angle D R E is going to be 180 degree minus. 110 degree. So at the end what we have left with D R E is supposed to be 70 degree. After subtracting 180 with 110 you are going to get 70 degree. So all the angles that we have found and was being asked is D R E is 70 degree and angle A R E is supposed to be 110. 10 degree. Got it children? Isn't it easy? So very basic theorems you all have to use over here. Basic properties you all have to use over here and few logic. Okay. Now let's move on to the next question that is the seventh one. In triangle now this is the triangle A, B and C. Bisector of angle A and angle B at point O. Okay. So these are bisecting each other at point O. Over here they have given xx and yy. Okay, refer the diagram. It's in the textbook also. Now angle C. This angle is supposed to be how much? 70 degree. Find the angle AOB. You all have to find this angle. Okay, so let's start again from where we have got all the uh, information. We will write it down. Not Q, it's O. I'll write it again. Angle C A O is congruent to angle O A B. Okay. C A O O A B. Okay. So what we have mentioned this way. Okay. Now why we have got this because ray A O bisects angle C A B. Okay. Let angle CAO is equal to angle OAB is equal to x degree. Okay, so we have taken CAO x and OAB also x. Now got it why both the sides are having x signs because we have considered it as x degree. So let's keep this as the first reason. So angle C B O is congruent to angle O B A. Now ulta you all have to take C B O okay and O B A. This side you all have to take. So you all have to use this first and the same property for this too. Okay so same property is going to come twice. Now what we have mentioned this as Y degree. Okay let's keep it as second therefore it is Y and Y. Got it? So same property but two different answers we are going to get. Therefore angle CAB is equal to angle CAO plus angle OAB. Okay from where did we get this? Angles addition postulate. Okay. Reasoning is important as I said. Okay. So from this we have got our required statement now therefore angle c a b now what is this this is supposed to be x degree this is also going to be x degree so therefore angle c a b is supposed to be 2 x degree let's keep this as third we have got one angle which is 2 x degree okay similarly for y also we will get the same answer isn't it angle c b a is supposed to be 2y. Now no need to 
solve this uh, same statement because over here only the names are going to change but the property is going to be the same that is addi angle addition po postulate from this property only we have got a y also following the same steps but no need to do it similarly you all have done it that means it is understood that using these properties only using the same method we have got 2y also okay so that will save our time so angle c a b now consider c a b angle a c b plus angle c a b plus angle c b a is supposed to be 180 degree the sum of the measures of all the angles is supposed to be 180 got it so for considering this triangle i'll show you in the figure c a b okay for this what we have taken a c b c a b and c b a so we have only considered the outer side angle and written as 180 degree the sum of the measures of all angles of a triangle is 180 now place the values of these a c b is supposed to be 70 degree this we have got as 2x this we have got as 2y is equal to 180 degree here you all can give the reason from 3 and Okay, isn't it? From this we have got the required numbers. Now, therefore we will write, therefore 70 degree plus 2 we will take common x plus y, we will take it into a bracket, 180. Therefore, 2x plus y is equal to 180 degree minus 70 degree. Therefore, 2x plus y is supposed to be 110 degrees. Okay, now let's solve this. That is x plus y is equal to 110 upon 2. Reduce it 2 1s are 2 5s are 10. 2 5s are 10. That is supposed to be 55 degrees. Okay, that means x plus y is supposed to be how much? 55 degree. Okay, we will mark this as the fifth reason. From this, now we will take the triangle AOB. Therefore, angle AOB plus angle OAB. Same children you all have to take. Uh, no bracket. Plus angle OBA. Now the smaller internal angle we have taken and we are doing the addition. Okay, this angle we are considering now. After the bigger, the smaller one we are considering. So measures of all the the sum of the measures of all the angles of a triangle is 180. So therefore angle AOB plus this is supposed to be X. This is supposed to be Y is equal to 180. Reason from 1 and 2. Alright. Now this sum looks big but it's very easy if you all understood it. X is supposed to be 55 degree. X plus Y. Is supposed to be 55 degree isn't it we have got this so place its value is equal to 180 degree therefore angle a o b is supposed to be 180 degree minus 55 degree so i'll solve it over here only children okay so it will be more clear to you all that is why i'm ex uh, explaining it right besides it now after we minus it that is angle AOB is supposed to be after subtraction that is going to be 125 degree. Okay, so we have got this angle also that is 125 degree. Okay, and the smaller one also we have got it that is this 55 degree. Bigger one was supposed to be 55 and the smaller one is supposed to be 125. 